Peter, you just got back seeing some new Rocket League updates coming later this summer. What are they all about? Uh, first, let me say it off. I'm very sorry to all my coworkers that I just had a lot of fun because it didn't feel like work at all. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, I like Rocket League a ton, and these two new modes are going to fundamentally change like how you engage with the game, like all the modes that we've seen in the past that they introduced. Um, one of them is, if you remember the, the mode where you got to use items, you get like the boxing glove and the spikes, mm -hmm. for example. Well, there's this new mode, uh, I believe it's called Spike Trap, and the whole idea is that every car has spikes all the time. When they have the ball, which is like the moment they touch it, it sticks to the spikes. And it sticks anywhere in the car where it touches. It doesn't just like move to the top. Um, they can then be destroyed with just a single touch. It doesn't have to be like a high speed ram. So it kind of creates this like rugby type scenario where it's, uh, it's very volatile. And you know, when you get touched and you lose the ball, your car explodes. So there's like boom, boom, cars exploding all the time. So you, you can only explode if you have the ball correct. and someone hits you. You can't just correct. like. You can't know, hit everybody. Play aggressively and just no, kill other people. Okay. You can't, can't hit everyone like that. But um, yeah, and it's just uh, you know the goals have also been removed out from the walls. So once again, those are those are there. You can drive behind them, and there's like a ramp going above it. So if you're really good, you can like drive up with it attached to your car and like do a flip. And then in those scenarios where maybe you can't drive the ball in, but you want to move it, you can release the spikes only when you have the ball, and that'll like let it go. It's a very subtle move, right? Because you're not like hitting the ball with your car, mm -hmm. unless you can let it go mid flip while doing the flip and then connect on the other end, but okay. there's a ton of depth. There's a ton of room for mastery here. And playing the devs, I caught a glimpse of that, you know, jumping off walls, doing flips and like letting it go in the air so then it flies in, even when their car wouldn't make it. Um, it's super fun. It's, it's, it's really challenging. And then they moved us over to a different mode uh, where we were effectively playing on a giant court with the beach ball as the ball. Um, the physics are way different than the regular Rocket League ball. Is it very floaty, I imagine? Or? Super floaty. Okay. And it's like when you hit it, because it has less mass, it doesn't just like fly as fast as you'd think. So even if you hit it going fast, it still kind of like, like floats in the air to get where it's going, which it just totally changes like how you think about scoring a goal. Like you want to be gentle about it. You don't want to be super forceful or else you might cause it to just, you know, just screw up. It won't do what you expect. It's not as like off the wall, <laughs> Rocket League joke. It's not as off the wall <laughs> as the as the spike trap mode, but um, you know it's fun in a different way. I think one of my favorite parts about it is the fact that depending on how you hit the ball, just like in regular Rocket League, it can spin. But because of again like the lack of mass that it has, it, the air physics sort of like impact it more. So the ball will really kind of curve, not dramatically so, but enough that you really have to. I think twice before just hitting the ball because it's it's really hard to calculate where it's going. You, it's like you have to develop a new sort of um, like muscle memory or an instinct when when playing. Are both these modes limited time runs? Like, are they only lasting for uh, supposedly this summer? I believe so. There's a chance I could be wrong about that. I know at least one of them is it's going to be replaced in the current mode when it comes out in July. Um, I believe that is the spike trap one. And yeah, uh, but I think also they are adding like permanent items to the collection. There's going to be like you know 80s cars like Kit from Knight Rider. Uh, you also have the station wagon from Ghostbusters, but uh, yeah, it's uh, you know there's also like toppers you can get, like an '80s cell phone and a cassette, or like a VCR, which is which is all well and good. But yeah, it's a, just another batch of like fun updates for Rocket League. And uh, I'll tell you what, I was a little tired today, but this like totally, <laughs> totally woke me up. <laughs> and those are the updates coming to Rocket League this summer. For more E3 coverage, stay tuned to Gamespot.